I dreamed of taking part in a 5K run when a life-altering disease made that seem impossible. But there were people in her corner who would not let her dream die. Our Steve Harris has Megan's story. Hannibal, Missouri. A town ripe with references to its most renowned resident, author Mark Twain. This town was the setting of some of his most well-known stories. But it's also the setting of a more modern story. A story that starts with the Hannibal Cannibal. That is a 5K race that brings in more than a thousand runners from all over. I can do that. It's a race Megan Battle wanted to run. I saw all of my friends on Facebook, how proud they were and how proud their families were of them. And I thought, you know, that's something I'd like to do. But then I got really sick with Guillain-Barre syndrome. A rare disorder in which the immune system attacks healthy nerve cells in the peripheral nervous system. The disease took both of her feet, making her dream of running the 5K seem all but impossible. But then from across town came what some might call divine intervention. Nathan Munger is the worship leader at Tabernacle of Praise. He's also Megan's cousin. She says, go figure, you know, I'd lose both feet and I want to do a 5K. It, it was a joke between my cousin and I. I called her out on, the, on it and uh, I said, okay, if you want to do it, let's do it. And I said, okay, thinking, ha ha, that's a good one. But Megan's joke became Nathan's quest. He called his friend, Michael Copenhaver. Absolutely, I'm in, uh, you know, why not? Um, it's an opportunity to help someone else out that doesn't have the ability to do this. They borrowed a racing wheelchair and along with two other friends, made Megan's dream come true. They pushed her from start to three blocks before the finish line, where they transferred her into her own wheelchair. And I finished the race on my own. Mark Twain wrote the perfect line to close this story. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. Uh, it was just, you know, uh, it was everything. It was awesome. Yeah, it was, I felt accomplished. Steve Harris, News 4. What a proud memory Megan has. Well, she and her team got medals for being the 200th runners to cross the finish line. Her time just over 30 minutes, 37 seconds.